Hey, hi, hello. Welcome back to my channel. And hey, what's up? If you are new here, hey, I'm Katie. I am back to share a little update, pregnancy update video with you. I'm calling it my like second trimester recap. However, I am in my third trimester already. I am 31 weeks pregnant. So for the majority of this video, I'm going to be covering how things went in my second trimester. And then I'm also going to just fill you in on how trimester three has started out for me. My plan is to just sit down and chat about how I've been feeling overall, including some of my symptoms, cravings, things like that. So if you haven't already, you should definitely consider watching my first video. I did do a first trimester recap. I can share that up here for you to go click on. You, you can watch that. If you're interested, if not, that's okay too. Honestly, looking back, I feel like second trimester just flew by. So many people I've talked to that I've watched here on YouTube or I follow them on other social media platforms like Instagram, they have shared how their second trimester has just been better. Of course, compared to their first, a lot of them had pretty smooth second trimesters. So for me, I can I can happily say that I can relate to that. I feel like my second trimester is when I got more of my energy back. I was starting to feel like, okay, I got the hang of this. And I was just starting to feel pretty good, like embracing, embracing it all. And feeling as much like myself as I could, even though I'm going through a big change, obviously. So I would say overall in my second trimester, I did get a lot of that energy back. I feel like I was sleeping pretty well through the night. I didn't have any like major symptoms. Uh, the ones I wrote down though that I remember the most, I was starting to experience some like leg cramping and that was weird and annoying because I'd wake up at night and I would just have this cramp through my leg and I'd have to stretch it out and it was just one of those really painful just like major like charley horse but I feel like I've been able to combat that with just staying hydrated doing more stretches and things like that and now I haven't experienced them so often, but I still do every now and then. Another big one for me was some cravings. I could not get enough of having like a savory salty snack along with something really sweet and sour. So a few weeks ago, it was, what was it? It was barbecue chips and not just any barbecue chips, barbecue flavored chips. It's the Dutch Crunch Mesquite Barbecue chips if you know you know i'll share a picture but they've always been a favorite of mine but i was craving them to the extreme and i was giving into that craving so i think i even yep just the other day i picked up another another bag of those just to have them on hand those have been a craving along with sour gummy worms sour gummy worms i i don't typically go for a sour candy. I'm more like a um, like a cookie. Give me some like ice cream is my go-to, which is still something I'm really into, but something about sour gummy worms and those chips. It would I'd go like weeks where I'd have to have a little bit like almost every day. Those cravings have kind of uh passed by though I'm I and now I think it's just been my sweet tooth has been on the rise so anytime I can get a cookie a little piece of chocolate and conveniently it was Valentine's Day just a couple days ago so I got plenty of treats <laughs> from my students from my coworkers, and I'd be lying if I didn't say I treated myself to some crumble cookies. Well, my husband and I, he could probably go without them, but I just, I, I just, I said yes. I said yes to the cookies. All right, and I was about to pass by like talking about this. I don't know why, maybe because I'm just trying to like lock it out or just trying to move on. But for my second trimester, I have never caught so many like little colds or little infections 
in my life that I can remember. I swear it was from the, I think it was like early November to January. I can hardly count a time period that I wasn't dealing with some kind of like congestion, like a head cold. And there was a period there where I, I had this nasty cough that just would not go away. And, you know, I went to the doctor, I got things checked out on multiple occasions. Um, I did what I could to relieve the, what it, the cough or the congestion, but nothing just seemed to like kick it completely. So for a while there, and that's probably why looking back, my second trimester just kind of was like, Bleh, because I was not feeling super well. And even right now I have some like congestion happening again. And it's, it's just more annoying than anything else. I'm still able to function and I'm feeling pretty well overall. But that was a big thing in my, in my second trimester that I had dealt with. Just like some kind of little sickness every week it felt like. And I never felt like I fully recovered. I think I had a week where I was like, oh, okay, it's finally done. And then after that, I caught something again. And also working in... A school. I'm around a lot of students, a lot of people in general, and you just catch, you often catch what's going around. So that was not my favorite thing. We will, I, I will say. <laughs> yeah, that was another, and not necessarily pregnancy related, but something I, I dealt with during my second trimester. And toward the end of my second trimester, was really when I started to feel baby kicking and moving around. Up until then, I, you know, I felt, I felt little movements, but I don't think that I was able to decipher like what was a, her movement or what was like maybe my digestion or like a little gas bubble or something. I'm really now able to feel her kicking and moving around and it is such a special feeling and I've always, you know, I've been told about it and asked about it, but until you experience it yourself, like it's just, it's hard to even fathom. Like I can't even explain how cool of a feeling it is and it just reminds me it just reminds me of what a beautiful process this is and how just grateful I am that I get to experience this and be this baby girl's mother and it just reminds me that every day she's in there and every day we get a little bit closer to being able to meet. And now that I've entered my third trimester, I'm really starting to just like slow down again. I'm a lot more tired at night, like earlier. I swear every night earlier and earlier it gets to be like even around like 7 p.m. I'm starting to get really tired so we've been going to bed a little earlier I feel like every night so by like 7 30 we might start our routine brush teeth and stuff like that because I just I can't hang I try we stay up and we'll watch something and I pretty much every night I'm like falling asleep so I'm like you know if I'm tired I just need to go to bed so that's something that's happening early on in this trimester I am feeling very exhausted. My body has started to hurt my hips, my lower back, and just moving around, I'm starting to slow down. And that's just something I was kind of just like waiting for. Um, I've been able to stay fairly active and I've just started to feel it within the past couple of weeks. I've just really felt like the weight and moving around has just gotten a little more challenging as far as like getting in and out of my truck putting my shoes on uh i do walk upstairs at my in my school building we have a second level so i am often walking up and down the stairs and i catch myself like having to breathe a little extra hard because i haven't been able it's yeah i'm just having to take time to catch my breath more often I would say. And something else I wanted something else I wanted to mention that I haven't heard a lot of moms, other moms talk about this. I know yeah, and the other moms I've heard from, it's a very small <laughs> pool of ladies. It's not a ton of people. So I'm I know there are women out there talking about this, but something in pregnancy that I don't hear a lot about is the way your body changes and how you see yourself and how you see your body change 
I've, you know, I've seen a lot of positive light shed on it and how it is a beautiful process and, you know, embrace your growing and changing body. And it is a beautiful thing. Again, I'm so grateful that I get to experience this, but it is quite the change. Like I, I don't want to say I struggled, but there was a time there when I would just like look at myself and I'm like, like, whoa. And to see the progression from like when I first started, when I first found out I was pregnant up until now, there is such a change that happens. And I don't, I, I've had to like allow myself to admit and talk freely about, talk to myself about like, yeah, my body looks a lot different in many ways than it had before. Um, you know, you get used to seeing yourself and functioning in a certain way for so long. And then you start, I, if you do have, if you are able to grow a baby inside of you, it changes so many things about not just the way you look, of course, but how you feel, how you feel about yourself. And I, I'd be lying if I said there weren't moments where I would look in the mirror and I'd be like, oh my, like, oh my gosh, like, what? Like, it's just hard to like believe. And I've, I'm on the other side of it now where I am embracing myself and my body and the changes and, you know, more often than not, I remind myself that this is such a beautiful, amazing process and I am so grateful. I've had grace with myself and I've allowed myself to be like, you know, my body does look a lot different. It's okay to feel that way and the time I did was not embracing it was pretty short-lived, but it is something that I dealt with. It is a big change. And I know my body's going to continue to change. And after this, just being accepting of the fact that my body will never be the same again. And I'm happy that I can say it now that I've processed things that I'm excited for that. Or, or I'm not, it's not something that I'm like dreading or, um, or afraid of, I'll say. Um, some other things that have happened since my last video um you know i had my anatomy scan and some other blood work done i've had my glucose test so i can happily say that things are looking really great things are normal i passed my glucose test so that's exciting and i'm not uh, dealing with like being anemic or anything and my most recent appointment was actually yesterday and baby is tracking, we're do, we just do the um, measuring my stomach. She's like right on track. So like 31 weeks, um, my OB checked for like positioning and baby is head down. And something I didn't realize with just being pregnant and the whole process, especially like your prenatal visits. So right now I'm going every other week and then I will soon be going to see her, my OB every week um toward the end there so that's it's crazy to think so i'm 31 weeks and one day no today i'm 31 weeks on the dot why do i keep messing that up 31 weeks starting today i have every single appointment scheduled and toward the end there baby baby could be here before even going to that final appointment i don't know that's just wild that's mind-blowing to me how there's only what nine niche weeks who knows call up to baby girl when she decides to make her grand appearance let me know if you guys have more questions i feel like i didn't cover every little detail i really wanted to share this just to kind of um just shed light on how i'm doing and in hopes that i can really relate to some of you and maybe you've gone through a similar pregnancy as me uh, maybe your pregnancy has been a lot different and that's just a good reminder that everybody is different every pregnancy is different and every baby is different every mother is different and, and that's that's a really an amazing thing and it does feel good to be able to relate to some to relate to others in some regards but just knowing that this is your journey and it can be easy to compare yourself to others and how things are going for other people but at the end of the day that doesn't mean you're doing anything wrong. I know that was easy for me to feel when I would watch videos just to try and inform myself more. I was finding myself though comparing myself and comparing my pregnant pregnancy. I was like, oh no, I'm not experiencing this, so something must be wrong or 
this isn't happening for me and just trying to justify why but every pregnancy again is so can be so different and embrace it and make sure you're you know if you're talking with your doctor it's it's okay to get advice um, from people you know and love and trust but again at the end of the day it's your own journey and um yeah so all right, you guys, I do plan to keep you updated on the rest of my pregnancy journey. Like I said, I'm through my second trimester into my third trimester already. So I will probably keep you posted like along the way. Um, but maybe I'll do one more like pregnancy update video. And I think it'd be really fun to share um, like a little nursery either tour. Not yet because things are not in place. <laughs> Uh, but maybe just share, you know, how I'm preparing a little bit. No expert here. Don't, 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 uh, don't, don't misunderstand me. I, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'll show you what I'd love to share what I am doing again in hopes to inspire or encourage, or even if it's entertaining for any of you watching, I would love to share that with you. So you can look out for more pregnancy content and also my like everyday other like lifestyle and fashion beauty related content as well okay and I figured it wouldn't be a pregnancy update video if I didn't show you the bump so here we go let me get into position here so I am not wearing like maternity items right now I'm wearing some oversized sweatpants I don't know if this is even going to do it justice here it is Okay. All right. I feel like that little shot was just not, I don't know, just not doing it for us. Because the white, like, cream color against this white bathroom. <laughs> okay. Maybe, like, third time's the charm. Maybe this will help. Maybe this will help you picture what's happening in here. She, she is hanging out. And some other advice, like something I experienced. I have a lot of amazing coworkers and people in my life who like to comment on my changing body. Again, being on the other side of it and feeling like I'm embracing the change now, I feel better and, you know, I'm able to just smile and just move on. But there was a time when people would comment like, wow, you are really showing Wow, your bump is really out. Whoa, I can definitely tell you're pregnant. Those were the comments that I would like write about. I'm like, God, help me to just accept it as like a compliment and say thank you or just say, yeah, like you're, yeah, you know, I really am. And now, like I said, I'm embracing it. I love it. I know people don't mean any harm. Good intentions, of course. And I'm okay with that now. But if you're in a similar phase where the comments are getting to you, it's it'll be okay. And I don't think people mean harm. I think they mean it as a compliment. So that's that was just my experience. Maybe none of you thought about it like for any more than a few seconds but for me i i'll be honest i did let it get to me just just a little bit thank you so much for watching take care guys i'll see you in my next one